Hey guys, welcome back. So, I've got a surprise 3D model for you guys today, um, and there's actually kind of an interesting story behind it. So, I'm sure most of you have heard of the website called Pinshape, which is basically kind of like Thingiverse, um, but they did some things to really stand out, like they held contests all the time and gave away printers for people who won the contest. And then they also had a blog section that was very helpful to both designers and makers, so that was very cool. And I actually really liked the site. And you may have seen recently around 3D printing news that Pinshape um, announced that they are closing. And um, that was due to lack of funding from investors. And I was told that invest an investor pulled out last minute. So they didn't have enough funding to continue the site. And um, they, they sent out a message saying that um, as of April 1st, the site would just be gone. All the files gone, all the blogs gone. Um, and so that's obviously pretty sad. And the reason I'm telling you this is because about a month ago, um, I was contacted by someone from Pinshape and they told me that I was nominated as their designer of the month for April. And I don't think my designs are anything special. Um, so I was, I was very honored and humbled to receive this. Um, so obviously I accepted. And along with that, they put you up on the front page of Pinshape with all your designs. And they also asked that you write a blog post to about some subject to um, help others out, which I did. And they also asked if I would create an exclusive design for them, which I was going to do, and that's actually the reason for this video. So all that was very cool, but a couple days ago, I got a message from the same person that contacted me, and in a very nice way, um, said that they were closing down um, due to the reasons I said before, and so obviously I would not be getting the designer of the month spot or whatever. But she did say that she would throw it up um, on the site a few days early so I could at least get in there and screenshot and, you know, people could see it for a couple days, which I thought was extremely nice because she did not have to do that. So, obviously, um, with Pinshape's future unclear, this design is no longer exclusive, I guess, because then it just wouldn't go anywhere. So I guess I'll be uploading it to um, Thingiverse and all the other sites that I do. So let's get into it. Um, the model that I chose to do was BMO from Adventure Time. So boom, right over here. Um, and now I actually created this model in Tinkercad. And the reason for that was because the blog post that I wrote was about Tinkercad as well. So let's go take a look at that blog post real quick. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at Pinshape. Um, I think the site is still up. Go there. Yep, the site is still up. So this is the front page, and if we scroll all the way down, we'll see that the bottom section is about me, and it's the featured 3D designer. Um, and that's basically the designer of the month for April is what they told me. Um, and so you can see my designs here, a little bit about me, um, and then you can um, read my blog post. And now if you guys have never read any of these blogs, um, I highly recommend them. There are some ridiculously good ones. So basically when um, that person from Pinshape reached out to me, uh, they said something about how um, most of my models were in Tinkercad and how they were um, not typical Tinkercad style models. Um, they were a little bit more complex than most Tinkercad stuff. So they thought that that could be an interesting blog post, and I agreed with them. So my blog was about um, complex models with Tinkercad. I'll put the link to this page down in the description. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be up or anything like that. So if it does go down, I have saved it, and I will put a link down in the description to um, the files for it. It'll just be out of my Dropbox account. But yeah, check it out if you um, like to do any Tinkercad modeling or anything like that. Okay guys, so here we have the model. Um, and ig ignore the colors, I just tried to make them as close as possible um, using Tinkercad's colors up here. And so basically what I did was I just tried to keep um, easy to print in mind, sort of like the, my bob um, I wanted this to print without any supports and just uh, basically print just like this. And then you may notice that the um, curves on here are actually very, very curved. And um, normally in Tinkercad, that's something that you just don't get. But what I actually used for that was um, one of the shape generators someone's created. This is a cylinder that you can actually increase the surfaces with. Um, so let's see, divisions. So right now you've got 20 divisions, which is pretty much like their um, standard 
um, cylinder. I'll bring out another one right next to it so you can see. Maybe this one has a little bit more. Um, but we can actually drag that up over here. So now, as you can see, this one is much smoother. And that's basically what I used to create the legs, the arms, and the curves around the um, head. And basically, any curved surface, that's what I used. Okay, so let's move this over to matter control and get it ready to print. So here it is, and um, we can actually scale this any way we want to. But um, let's look at the settings. Um, I use 20% infill. You could probably get away with 10, but uh, 20 if you're not sure. And I went 0.3 millimeter layer height. Um, you can obviously increase that and get better definition. Um, and then as far as that, nothing else. Um, too crazy. No supports, no raft. So let's get printing. All right, I just got this off the printer, and so here we have BMO. As you can see, this one was designed to, to print really easily. Um, so all the details came out pretty good and they're, they don't stick out very far so you shouldn't have any issues with those. And then the arms um, just build up to it. So as long as those stick to the bed, you should be golden with this. Alright guys, well here is the finished product. It's all painted up. This is BMO. And my wife didn't do anything too crazy in order to paint this. There was no sanding um, and she pretty much just used a paintbrush with acrylic paints to paint it. So you can see the back side. And this actually printed really well. The uh, I was worried about the arms maybe not sticking and breaking off and not getting there, but I didn't have any issues with that. And since it is all one file, it's very easy to scale. So I created this tiny little BMO as well. Well guys, this has kind of been an unexpected and weird week. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and I hope for the best outcome for pin shape. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds for them. As always, the files for this are down in the description, and I'll also put um, a link down there so you guys can access the article that I wrote about Tinkercad. Um, Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys are wondering what to watch next, check the little eye in the corner or down in the description if you're on mobile. And if you thought this video was cool, make sure you like and get subscribed if you're not already. Thanks for joining me guys. See you next time.